The American Ballpark Road Trip is an independent production. All views and opinions expressed are that of the show's producers and host alone. The American Ballpark Road Trip does not claim any ownership of intentionally or unintentionally disseminated copyright material displayed, recorded, or utilized within the show. Hola fans, my name is Nick Carey and welcome to the American Ballpark Road Trip. Thanks for clicking on to this video. I started exploring minor league baseball and ballparks across the country on road trips with my grandfather back in 2008. Now I'm starting the American Ballpark Road Trip show to showcase ballparks, teams, and the communities that they call home. For this very special first episode, we are in Puerto Rico exploring not one, but two ballparks and three games in the Liga Roberto Clemente. Sit back, grab your favorite ballpark brew, and enjoy this very special first episode, the American Ballpark Road Trip. Beach-lined and sun-soaked, San Juan is the capital city of the American island territory of Puerto Rico. The island is home to over 3 million residents and represents one of the oldest settlements in the Western Hemisphere. During our visit, San Juan and its citizens were celebrating the 500th anniversary of the city's founding in 1521. Also known as the Palace of Laws, the Capitolio de Puerto Rico was built in 1921 or and finished in 1929. Now the rotunda and central structure is actually based on the design of the Low Memorial Library at Columbia University. Now in the first floor the Constitution of Puerto Rico is housed and like most contiguous states the Territorial House of Representatives and Senate meet. I'm here in Old San Juan, or San Juan Antiguo, which is the second oldest city established in the New World. Now, it's set on its own islet from the rest of the island itself, but centuries old cobblestone streets, pastel buildings, military fortresses combine to give locals and touristas alike a historic perspective with modern Caribbean culture and fantastic views of the Caribbean Sea and the San Juan Bay. This cathedral, the Cathedral Basilica de Menor de San Juan Batista, is the second oldest in the Western Hemisphere and the oldest in any U.S. state or territory. It's the Archdiocese of the Catholic Church here in Puerto Rico. And the original structure was laid in 1521 before a hurricane took out that structure. Now the one that this has been built upon was established in 1540. The cathedral is the resting place of the first governor of Puerto Rico, Ponce de Leon, who is also the first European to lead an expedition into the contiguous United States, now known as Florida, or at least from Florida.
here with our first interview of the show on the American Ballpark Road Trip. We're not in a ballpark, but we have found some Roberto Clemente memorabilia. And my guest is... Tito Rodriguez. And where are we, Tito? We are in Old San Juan, which we call it the real capital of Puerto Rico. Uh, this is the oldest city in the hemisphere. And uh, we are an old shop too. We've been 102 years and we love baseball. That's why you'll see what you have in my back. <laughs> so you have this Clemente line and first and foremost, the Puerto Rican Winter League is actually the league, Liga Deportes de Roberto Clemente. So what does baseball mean to Puerto Rico as a country and the people here? Well, Puerto Rico is uh, baseball to Puerto Rico is part of our culture. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, that was my sport. Even though I'm originally from Spain, but at the time there was no soccer, no football. So I learned to play baseball. Uh, and I, I noticed a year over year over year, the kids, they continue playing baseball. And we have baseball year round, different leagues, double A, a single A, and other ones. Fantastic. And little leagues too. So, and tell me about your corner of the shop here dedicated to Roberto Clemente. Uh, we met the graphic artist a minute ago, so what is this all about? Well, um, uh, Roberto Clemente is a symbol of the people of Puerto Rico. In my opinion, and in the opinion of most of, one of the Puerto Ricans, Clemente was ahead of his time. He was a one-of-a-kind human being. At the time, it was difficult in the States, if you know, we're not white, but he could manage, and he was wonderful. Um, as, as, a, as a kid and as a, young, and a teenager, I played baseball, and I always like to see videos and read about Roberto Clemente. Um, then uh, I met, which is my partner today, he's a graphic artist, and he designed some really nice stuff regarding the Clemente life. And it's great and it's a beautiful collection too. And we like, we'll wrap it up with, do you have a favorite team in the Liga de Roberto Clemente who you follow? Actually, uh, the Santurce Crabbers is the one that uh, we follow. <laughs> but there's another one called the Maya West Indians. Mm -hmm. They are great. <laughs> <laughs> great. And next year we are having a new team coming back, the Ponce Lions, which are from the south. Great. Well, fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being the first interview of the show. Thank you for passing and by. Look, yep, looks like we've got to get some Clemente stuff stuffed and head to the ballpark. But Perfect. Thanks once again, Tito. Thank you. Thank you again. And come and visit Puerto Rico. After our amazing visit with Tito at Almacines Fernandez, we hit the trail left by the Canyoneros de San Truce to the ballpark and headed to Hiram Bithorn Stadium for the first American Ballpark Road Trip matchup of our trip, pitting the Canyoneros against the Gigantes de Carolina. From Estadio Sixto Escobar, the Cangrieros de San Truce moved here to Hiram Bithorn Stadium. Built in 1962, completed in 1963, it has been the home to the Crabbers since then. The stadium for baseball hosts over 18,000 fans. It's named for Hiram Bithorn, who was the first Puerto Rican native to join the Chicago Cubs in 1942, making him the first in baseball history. Outside of baseball use, this ballpark hosted the first outdoor NBA game in 1972. It also has hosted pro soccer and concerts from groups like the Beach Boys, the Jackson Five, Whitney Houston, Phil Collins, and Billy Joel. The King and Yeros de San Cruce were founded originally as a softball team before being taken pro in the Puerto Rican League in 1939. They stand as one of the premier franchises in the history of Puerto Rican baseball. The club has won 16 league titles and five Caribbean series at the time of recording. They've called three ballparks home in their 80 years, 
would have spent the better part of 50 seasons at Hydeman B. Thorne Stadium. The royal blue and white color scheme is reminiscent of the Los Angeles Dodgers and has been worn by stars including Roberto Clemente, Willie Mays, Don Zimmer, Negro League legends Satchel Paige, Willard Homer and Brown, and Monty Irvin. From 1969 to 70, Frank Robinson was a player and manager a full six years before becoming the first African-American manager in Major League Baseball history. At Hiram Brithorn Stadium, it's almost game time. I am here with a very special fan for this first interview at the ballpark. Now, sir, what's your name? My name, Julio Sanchez. Julio Sanchez. Julio Sanchez. Now, Julio, obviously you're a Ganganeros fan. And why are they your favorite team? Why do you come out? From Santosa. From San Cruce. And what makes baseball in Puerto Rico so special? Okay, I never play for the, my, my team in San Cruce. I, I never play uh, baseball because I'm in the, in the army for two years. And I got the problem with uh, my foot. Then I got a heart. But I'm not here. Because I got a pass for every, every, every day for Santuse play here. And how many years, how many annuals have you been coming to games here? Now I got, I got today now 80 years. 80 years. I'm, I got 80 years. Fantastic. So, Who's your favorite player that you have seen here with Santruce? Favorite uh, ball player? I don't understand that one. Uh, favorite um, favorite player on the field? Oh, the player. Yeah, Santruce. Why you want the zoom? Is it the best player? In the before one. Felicín Cepeda, Roberto Clemente, tiene, eh, Rubén Gómez, Walterín Pizarro, tiene, ese, ese, Jeff, Frank Robinson, eh, de, de, de Tino, o Baltimore, si tienen de Ray Jack, de Older, de Jay, y Tommy Hill a tu play. And then, what makes Hiram Bithorn's Estadio the best to you? Why do you like this ballpark?
particularly the home team if you're there, and help them in their operations by visiting their merch stand and taking a piece of gear home, like this San Cruce Cangineros hat that I picked up tonight for $30. Now they also have a great online store at SanCruceCangineros.com where you can pick up jerseys, t-shirts, and all sorts of gear, like this hat, tonight's merch feature of the game. Kanganeros and their staff keep games entertaining with a mix of upbeat contemporary Latin music combined with the mascot antics of JJ and Toro. There's even a ballpark pet band to rally the crabbers throughout the game, making the ticket prices of $13 for general admission and $24 for box seats with in-seat concession service worth the price of admission. on, eventually it had to come to an end, and we enjoyed our time visiting the Cangineros de San Truce at their home ballpark, Iron Beth Norton Stadium, in San Truce, Puerto Rico. What we found was the essence of Puerto Rican baseball, a welcoming ballpark with friendly staff and amazing fans, making Puerto Rican baseball all the more special for your visit. <music> Even though the Gigantes de Carolina got the best of the San Truce Quingueneros, we enjoyed our time at, here at Hiram Bithorn Stadium. A lot of history, a great atmosphere, despite some limitations to crowd sizes, great food. So it's definitely worth the visit for your next intercontinental American ballpark road trip. Hey everyone, before we wrap up this video and send you to the credits, just wanted to shout out Tito at Almacines Fernandez again and their amazing Roberto Clemente line of shirts and hats. Now, if you'd like to purchase one like this super comfy, uh, very well designed shirt, visit them at costazulpr.com. I will list that link in the show description. And if you are in Puerto Rico, be sure to go see them on San Francisco Street in Old San Juan and support an amazing local Puerto Rican business that was established in 1917. So once again, go see Tito. You can give them a call at the number listed on the screen or visit them and buy a shirt like this one online at costazulpr.com. Thanks, and let's get to the credits. Thank you for watching this very special first part of the pilot episode of the American Ballpark Road Trip. Based upon when you're viewing, part two is coming soon or it is in the playlist to play next, so please enjoy that. If you would like to connect with the show, subscribe to us here on YouTube and give our videos a like, and follow us on social media, Twitter at AMBallparkRT and Facebook American Ballpark Road Trip. If you'd like to learn more about the show or learn how to become a sponsor or producer, email us at amballparkrt at yahoo.com. Once again, I'm Nick Carey. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the road. Hey